Please be seated. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Mm. <clears throat> How are you all today? Good. <laughs> how, how am I today? Uh, today, uh, sleepy. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, on the internet, sometimes you see this uh, phrase, right? They say like. Uh, Tom usually don't do something, but when he does, or like Tom usually don't eat pizza, but when he does, he did he eat three pizza, you know. So Sifu usually don't take nap. When he take nap, he over nap. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. There's no thing right here. Yeah, I'm serious. It's one of those days where like, hmm, I've, I've most of the things sorted out today, you know? Like, sometime, you know, uh, a, bit of, like, a bit of ache here. Maybe I should rest a bit, you know, before I fall sick. I just lie down a bit. And, oh, this is pretty good, you know? <laughs> wow. Well, before you know it, I was having dreams and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many times they they called me, <laughs> yeah. But finally, um, I, I received a call from Felix. Yeah, and then I'm I'm pretty sure I, I don't know what I told him actually, <laughs> but anyway, here I am. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I usually don't nap, mm. <laughs> but when I do, <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Okay, so last week, last week we we stopped here uh, after the first five consciousness and the sixth consciousness. Hmm. Today is the 28th, right? Yeah, okay. Hmm. So last week we covered up to here, and then we went on to talk about the different consciousness. Yeah, up to, we, I think we, we, we barely started on the mind consciousness. Yeah, but we did cover it already. Oh. So the first five consciousness are. Uh, are all related to the body based on the based on the eyes yeah uh, in contact uh, with visible form then eye consciousness arise yeah the uh, the ear nose tongue body uh, corresponding correspondingly uh, in contact with sound smell taste touch then give rise to ear, nose, tongue, body, consciousness. Yeah. And so the the uh, the sense consciousness the sense consciousness uh, correspond to its respective sense objects and has the sense object as its uh, object of attention focus yeah and awareness 
some of you sent me uh, questions over the week, uh, pretty interesting questions. Uh, there are some questions which I may have replied, some I uh, left it. The reason is because some of the questions uh, involve coming topics, yeah? and some uh, I thought it may benefit the rest to be asked in class. So perhaps you could ask again uh, at the end of the class. Okay, so uh, I've also mentioned that the mind consciousness, the mind consciousness uh, is uh, is very special because it doesn't just uh, has mental object as its object. The mind consciousness, the mind itself, is able to uh, discriminate that which is perceived or that which is um, from the eye, from the ears, nose, tongue, body and the mind. Yeah. Uh, that is apparent to ourselves. Yeah. Uh, before you even learn Buddhism, before you come for this class, I hope your mind was able to uh, uh, go and discriminate what you see. <laughs> That's what we have always been doing. Yeah, so there's no rocket science here. Yeah, it's not that the Buddha is teaching us something that is beyond what we already know or am aware of. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but in the past two weeks, we would have gone through uh, certain aspects. Yeah, certain aspects about it. Where, for example, <coughs> because it is the mind that is interpreting, so. It means that uh, there's, there's an opportunity for us to interpret things differently. Yeah. Uh, that the, what we usually think we interpret or we perceive as what is outside may not be really what is outside. But dependent on what is outside, then we, uh, we have our we form our perception, which is a combination of what is outside plus uh, what is inside us. Yeah, what is inside us. Yes. That's not to suggest that we are always seeing something that's wrong. Yeah, uh, but it, but that uh, what we perceive is uh, is really layered, mm. coloured, if you will. Yeah, coloured, if you will. There was a question, uh, let me see. Mm. Uh, some students uh, were still unclear about this. Xing uh, Yu Ming Yi. By now, perhaps uh, most of you who want to have a copy should have gotten a copy of this. Yeah. Uh, some of the students who, uh, who attend the group cultivation, they have uh, very... Um, kindly uh, came f come forward to to do don uh, to support the printing and then so I think they printed 170 copies yeah 170 yeah. 180 ah, okay so uh, I think it's su it should be sufficient for everybody there's still more outside unfortunately the photocopying machine cannot translate huh so <laughs> So it's still Chinese text. Mm. So there's this part which they ask, which is uh, what I explained uh, briefly last week, mm. which is why is the mind also known as, or rather why is the heart also known as the mind? Sing Yo Ming Yi. Yeah? Because this whole, this whole section is the first section of the five section. Yeah? The hundred dharmas. Okay, to give some context. Uh, we, are on this, uh, we are on this commentary where uh, we are in this process of establishing what are the hundred. And then the hundred is first subdivided, categorized if you will, into five sections. Starting with the heart. Mm. Yeah, so heart is uh, the generic term 
And then we have been going through the very definition of what makes something a heart. Yeah. Yeah. And so one of the thing is that heart is also known as mind. Yeah. Hmm. Heart is also oh sorry, that's this. Heart is also known as mind. So in the in this text which I'm using, right, then it says Yi Ji Siliang. Yeah, mind 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 is basically the ability to to consider, to ponder, to discriminate, to think, yeah. Yeah, and then what else? Yo Ujian Gada Jiazi Xian Siliang er yi. So there's two broad meanings. One is uninterrupted awareness and secondly Xian Siliang. Being able to to consider uh uh being able to 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 weigh, yeah, if you will. Mm, yeah. Uh, what is immediate? So that's the first that's the, the broad uh, definition of what is mind, yeah, mana. Wu Tian Tong Yi Zhu Shi. So the first part which is that uninterrupted awareness. Wu Tian Jue Tong Yi Zhu Shi. Now this part I realize when the 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 student asks uh, uh, again about this question. This portion uh perhaps back backs a bit of explanation and is the is the a good example of how uh, i i don't always agree word for word with the text <laughs> so here uh wu jian wu tong yu zhu shi wu jian jue means uh the uninterrupted awareness tong yu zhu shi means all the consciousness have this quality yeah all con- all, all consciousness have the quality of uh, being uh, being having uninterrupted awareness. Now, for the first five, uh, we can say that as long as it's active, then it is uh, it has this uninterrupted uh, awareness. But it is not uh, uninterrupted in that sense because when you fall asleep, then there's no more awareness, isn't it? Yeah. So we have to put in the caveat. That as long as we are awake, then the first five consciousness is so. Then for the sixth consciousness, uh, it also has this feature. Yeah. And when we are asleep, it is also it can also be active. Yeah. But for most people, active in a very murky way. Mm. So we don't really consider that as awareness as well. Uh, the seventh consciousness, which is what we are going to uh, really cover today uh, it's also known as the mind yeah because uh, the seventh consciousness known as mana consciousness muona shi is exactly what it means by mind yeah man e is mana so this can get a bit confusing okay this can get a bit, a bit confusing uh so but here it says uh this is throughout all consciousness yeah uh so the mind itself of course has that awareness uh, but uh later when i cover mana consciousness i'll be sh- i will share with you the, the the teachings from mahana sangraha uh, to weigh in on that okay but for the eighth consciousness, again from the Mahana Samgraha, eighth consciousness um, is there awareness? Uh, that's the question. Okay, I want you to put a question mark. Okay. So we have Si uh, Liang. I didn't write down the Wu Jian Jie. Huh? Mm. But I did explain. Uh, I did explain. So. So this is the uh, 
uninterrupted awareness. Yeah. So, how about seven and eight? Hmm. Okay, put a question mark there first. And when we, because today we're going to just shortly after cover that. Okay, so put a question mark there first. Then the last part of this definition is yeah, So uh, the, the ability to, uh, to discriminate, to uh, directly, uh, what do you call that? Um, uh, to so-called weigh and to think, uh, that is limited to number seven. Okay? And number seven. Okay? Yeah. Uh, but he, here I have a bit of an issue. Uh, uh, because number six consciousness, uh, number six consciousness, what is its function? Exactly to, yeah, it's the mind consciousness. It is to consider, to weigh. Uh, so this is where I have a bit of issue with the text. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Mm. I re recall in 2009 and 2010 when I covered this text. <coughs> yeah, there were numerous areas where uh, I share with them that okay, this part uh, I don't really agree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, I will still explain what is given by the text, but where I differ, I will highlight so that you know, and then you can decide okay which one. Uh, you want to uh, consider yeah uh, that the ability to to listen to both and then to consider uh that's the sixth consciousness ability <laughs> okay yes uh, so uh i think one week ago or two weeks ago i mentioned about when I first touched the, the various consciousness, I mentioned about how there are, very, there are different school of thoughts. One which is the yi shi lun. So the, the school of one consciousness. So they don't posit so many different consciousness. They just give it the name consciousness and it's doing everything. Okay, got it. <laughs> huh? Well, yeah, okay, just because you don't have a problem doesn't make it more correct or wrong. <laughs> I, 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 can, I understand now that your, your point of distinction is that you don't have a problem. But my point is, yeah, but there are those who have no problem with one to five or so, whether there is or not. My point is uh, that there were already school of thoughts that established that uh, there's one consciousness in charge of everything and there are those who establish separately that oh, uh, it's actually called eye consciousness actually called uh, ear consciousness and so on yeah? uh, is there a seventh consciousness so uh, let's, let's find out, uh. let's find out. Uh, but, but uh, the truth the truth is a, it's not a populist result yeah, it doesn't depend on me to uh, agree with it. Doesn't agree. It doesn't depend on you or any of us to vote and say, okay, today let's put it to a vote. How many of us agree or not? Yeah, the truth is the truth. Is the truth is the truth. Yeah, but it's good to 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 challenge the truth and see who who is left standing. Huh? Mm. Let's go to the sixth consciousness now. Yes. Hold hold that thought. Don't don't shake your head first. Don't 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 turn your head and then like I I haven't got a chance to explain because seven consciousness is behind. You see, seven consciousness is behind here. So <laughs> you all keep asking me things that is not covered here. How to cover? <laughs> you know, it's like it's like you go to watch Star Wars and then 
before you finish the you know, chap- chapter 4, you ask, like, who is Darth Vader? You know, Ben, Obi-Wan Kenobi say your father killed, was killed by, by Darth Vader. Then you are asking in chapter 4, your new hope, to know who is Darth Vader and where is the father. Then George Lucas can just come in the video and say, well, he's Anakin, actually. Then it, 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 it spoils the whole show, you know. <laughs> So anyway, yes. Okay, so so don't worry. Today, today covering, today covering. No, we are here. We are here. So a bit more. Yeah. Then uh, here. Yeah, we are here. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Luke Skywalker with Ben Obi Wan Kenobi, then flying, then get get stuck, then escape, then okay. Oh, this is my father. Okay. Okay. Yes. Like, what is the question next one? <laughs> Forgot your question. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. About two or three lessons ago, uh, our sister asked this question also. Yeah. Then I, I, I think I gave you all an exercise. Remember. Uh, was it last week or last last week? About how, yeah, last week, huh? Uh, when we when we go back home, yeah, to to give yourself a challenge, yeah, uh, whatever f- food comes your way, uh, to to try it. Remember, uh, the exercise, very simple exercise. I think it's doable by most people, uh, unless you have food allergy, or if you are on medication, then you you have to be uh, selective with your food. In which case, it's not about your choice. Sometimes, if you have, have uh, medical conditions, the choice of food that you have to eat may not be what you like anyway. Yeah? Uh, so, whether, either way, make sure you keep yourself healthy, but where you can, uh, my, my suggestion was to challenge yourself. And I share with you all the, what I did myself. Uh, on my own accord, that just came to me like, why should I... Um, be so picky about food, whatever comes my way, yeah, because that's exactly what happened to me during the retreat. Yeah, uh, for the longest time, I was not a fan of celery. You know, celery, not 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 some somebody's name. Uh. <laughs> you know, the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it has this this kick with to it. You know, yeah. You either love it or hate it. Kind of kick. The kind of oh, yeah. It has that smell, right? So for the longest time, I was like oh. So during the retreat, the novice retreat I attended, the first one I attended, there was that salary. Yeah, but I guess because of the retreat, the teachings and everything, and um, I, the moment I saw it and there was that response, I was like, I caught myself. Then I, well, I, I ate it, but I didn't just go like, you know usually when it's food you don't like, you either eat it first or last. <laughs> Yeah, you see, I, I know because that's what I used to do. You either eat it first, you like, okay, done. Then you enjoy the meal, you know? Or you enjoy the meal, then the last part. Yeah, that's what we usually do. Yeah, Starting from when we are kids. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so, Sometimes in life, when we have no choice, it is a good chance for us to cultivate, you know. Because when you have a choice, uh, there's nothing wrong to choose. But what happens when you don't have a choice? Yeah. So the, the, cha- the, the point was not to simply, uh, simply force yourself to eat what you don't like or whatever, but to experience it. And then to observe yourself, what is exactly this tongue consciousness yeah, t- telling you. Hmm. You can call it mind consciousness for, for all I care. Okay? Uh, but the key thing is, with this delineation, then we have something to talk about, specifically about the tongue. So you could also say, let's ignore all the different consciousness. And let's just say consciousness that is arising on the tongue. Or consciousness ar- arising due to the tongue. But that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, so... 
uh, to me, it's, it's more out of, um, out of uh, it's like a specialization that allows you to understand more specifically. Yeah? So in this case, specific to the tongue consciousness, uh, if you observe the actual eating process, there are all kinds of tastes that arise. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you are to eat it mindfully, and again I must highlight, short of, okay, short of um, having an allergic reaction, uh, even food that you don't like, whether out of the taste or the texture, oftentimes, uh, if you are to really consciously, mindfully uh, go and eat it, uh, you'll find that the taste is just the taste. Yeah? Whatever dislike comes after, that, after the taste. At least that's what I observe. And I've, I've, I've shared this with many students, uh, and um, some of them, not all, yeah, have come back to, to me that, yeah, that's, that's similar to what they observe as well. Yeah. Uh, so if you can do that, then that gives you a very direct uh, approach to, to uh, revisiting the simple experience of eating. Yeah. And this is not about uh, some theory yeah, that you have to force yourself. This is just observing directly yeah, what is happening at the consciousness level. So to, to me, I shared about how this is one direct application of, of, uh, of learning more about the consciousness. Uh, hold that question so that I can continue to the part where they go to the, the, the Tatooine uh, bar and then so that we can find out who Luke Skywalker's dad is. <laughs> yeah, okay? Yeah, just hold that thought first. Yeah. So, yi shi, okay, let's see, uh, mind consciousness. Hmm. Today we are going to talk about mind consciousness, and we should be able to talk about also the uh, seven consciousness. Today is the 28th. Yeah, 28th. So, yi shi is basically the mind, mind consciousness. The mind consciousness depends on the, the mind. Yi gen. The mind sense base. <coughs> so, uh, the word sense base, the mind sense base, uh, I've ever encountered some students who pose, who was quite surprised because in the Normal usage of the word senses, it usually refers to the first five. Eye, ears, nose, tongue, body. Okay? Yeah, in no normal usage, uh, outside of Buddhism, when we talk about the, our senses, it usually refers to our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and the body. The mind is excluded. And that is why when we talk about sixth sense, okay? Sixth sense. What does sixth sense refer to? Uh, okay, yeah, in Buddhism we refer to the mind, very good. Yeah. In the rest of the world, uh, they refer to ESP. Remember, uh, remember how in, in, uh, in normal world, <laughs> for the rest of the world, sometimes I, I realize that the rest of the world really don't, don't have any, any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, when you talk about sixth sense, 
There's even this show by Bruce Willis, yeah, Six Sense. Yeah, when I saw the show, I, I saw this title of Six Sense. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, but that's because for the rest of the world, there's only five known senses: eye, ears, nose, tongue, body. Yeah, but uh, the Buddha, when he referred to the number six sense, he was referring to the mind. Yeah, that, and that was way before ESP, uh, the term ESP came about. Yeah, so that's the first thing to take note. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the other thing to take note is um, sense basis is also given another name. Liu yeah. Gen uh, is also given another name. Liu Gen Men. Gen and then Gen Men. So usually, Liu Gen Men, Six Sense Doors. In the movies, we often hear the monks would, uh, declare, would declare, uh, Ping Sen Liu Gen Qing Jing, Si Da Jie Kong. Yeah. That must say with an accent. Uh, Liu Gen Qing Jing, Si Da Jie Kong. Steady, uh, 开玩笑, <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it's like, if you speak, speak that way, who is going to understand you, you know? <laughs> yeah, but, but when people come to religion, they like it, you know? Oh, then they feel like, wow, it's so mystical. <laughs> so anyway, the... The, the sense basis is also known as sense doors. Uh, the Buddha described it that it is like how with a door, you can have things go through it. Yeah, you can have things go through it. And the six sense doors is the, is the doorway through which this will enter our mind. Yeah. Uh, in the sutra, he gave the analogy uh, on guarding the sense doors. Guarding the sense doors. So sometimes you may have seen this uh, picture of the monkey, and the other day I saw it on my Buddha Vachana. I was quite surprised. I think I have to go and find another picture to put there. <laughs> Because the picture usually depicts the monkey doing this. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Yeah? Um, it's so common and oftentimes people may think of it as a, uh, a representation of what cultivation is. Uh, but the Buddha don't advise his disciples to go around <laughs> like this. Yeah. He says, guard your sense doors. He never said, block your sense doors. <laughs> what, does, what is the difference? Yeah? What is the difference? When we say, guard your sense doors versus blocking your sense doors, he used this analogy. He didn't use monkeys. Okay? He used monkeys in other analogy, yeah? describing the, the 12 links, where the last part, the clinging onto, the craving onto. Yeah? from one branch to another branch. Yeah, he used this to describe clinging. But for sense doors, uh, guarding, he used the analogy of a city. And he says, imagine a, a, a city watchman. Yeah, if he were to try to protect the city, he could keep on running around the city to make sure it's safe, that there's no enemy inside. Or he could make sure that there's sufficient walls and then just stand watch over the city gate. Yeah, such that, and then be vigilant. Yeah, be watchful. Be mindful, if you will. Yeah. And then, in this way, uh, to, to make sure that anything, anybody who enters the city, uh, passing through the city gates, would come un under his watchful eyes. Um, in such a way, then the, the analogy goes, or metaphor, if you will, describes that even if a small rat should come 
come in the city, the watchmen would know. In this way, uh, if there's any characters that is harmful to the city, he would immediately know and he can apprehend them and drive them out. Uh, this is what he described as an, a parable or a metaphor uh, on how a person and his disciples should guard the senses. In other words, it's not, to, it's not to block it and don't see anything. But it is that whatever you see, you have to consider. When I see this, does it bring about a rise in greed, a rise in hatred, a rise in delusion? If it does and I cannot overcome it yet, then I better shift my attention somewhere else. <laughs> yeah? But it's not an escapist approach. Escapist is to keep on doing this. Yeah? Escapist, don't do anything else but just keep running away. Yeah? Uh, the Buddha's uh, advice is not an escapist advice. Okay? His advice is that you should check what can give rise to defilements, unwholesome thoughts, evil thoughts, and what will not. Yeah? At the later stage, this is the very early stage of cultivation. At the later stage, then it is no longer about guarding. It is that whatever comes across, then you should be seeing, having direct seeing, yeah, to be to be, to see with non-attachment. Yeah, so it's a gradual path. Yeah. At the onset, if we ask you immediately, whatever you see, have non-attachment. Let go. Who can do it? <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, so the initial stage is at least learn to be uh, discerning in what you pay attention to. Yeah. Yes, we are trying to cultivate uh, such that we can resist, such that we can uh, be remain unmoved, whatever comes. But if you still cannot handle it, why, why keep on going, you know, looking at it? Uh, you, you know that you see this, you utsu, then you still keep staring at it. You are asking for it, isn't it? Uh, huh? So, this is uh, some other things I want to cover uh, on the sense basis. So, how about the mind consciousness and uh, the mind sense base? So, typically for well, typically for the mind sense base, we can also refer to this as just the mind. Okay, uh, just the mind. So the mind sense, mind consciousness, depends on mind together with mental objects, and then consciousness arises. When consciousness together with these two, okay, this, so this is the object, and this is the sense base, and this is the consciousness together then it also gives rise to contact. Mental objects here uh, includes whatever arises in the mind when we see. So visible form arises in our mind as mental objects also. Yeah. And that is how the mind itself can take uh, visible form uh, the, the, the datum from the eye consciousness, uh, datum from the ear consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness, yeah? and then interpret, label, uh, form perception, think, and so on and so forth. All right? Now, but there's more. Let's look at the text, huh? There's, there are some students who suggest whether I can actually <coughs> flash the, the text and then uh, explain so that there's something for you to see. Yeah? Uh, I, I, I have not been doing that but only occasionally because um, I was concerned whether it is more disruptive. But, so I, I thought maybe we, I can try that. Huh? Yeah. I mean, I already give you the text. So if you want to look at the text, it's, it's with you. Yeah, but in case if you... Uh, I think this may help so that you know, you know that I'm looking at this part. 
I'm explaining this part of the text. Yeah. Uh, so here we are, we are going into the mind consciousness. We have gone through that. What does this mean? Basically, what I have gone through with you repeatedly already. Uh, when we say uh, the mind sense base, it is none other than number seven mana. In other words, um, here it is the same thing but given two roles. Mm. It is the same thing. Yeah, mind is also the seventh consciousness. Okay? Yeah, mind is not, none other than the seventh consciousness. Our sister asked the question, but why must we establish a separate seventh consciousness? Uh, to be honest, if you just look at this commentary directly, in most of the commentary text, it doesn't, it's not clear. Yeah. Because by itself, the definition, uh, you can do the definition without establishing any of this. Yeah? Uh, but le- there is a, a line of reasoning, including why number eight? Mm. Why must there be a number eight? Huh? Uh, so don't worry, we'll come to that, okay? Uh, here is just to declare. Yeah, the first stage of, of, of wisdom and knowledge. Yeah? Just, just to know that, okay, somebody in the past yeah, uh, establish this. That the mind, we also give it another name. Just like uh, uh, Janice. Jan- Janice, right? Janice Pei, uh, okay. Janice, what does your mother call you? Janice also. <laughs> How about our colleagues? Okay, wrong person. <laughs> you mean at home they also call you Janice? Nobody call you anything else. They all call you Janice. Things. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm sure some of us, when we were young, they don't call us by our name. They call us a Xiao Ming. Uh, they call us a boy or a girl. Uh, like in the 80s, like every 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 boy was all a boy. Every girl was all a girl. A boy. Uh, all the boys turn off. <laughs> Who called me? <laughs> yeah. I think that in the 70s was when. People, the, the, the first batch of those who are exposed to English education, uh, English ed, then wow, it was very hip to, call, to use English, you know. Wow, so a boy, oh, steady. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, what, must, what must we give them a different name? Sometimes there are many reasons. Sometimes just for fun, uh, you know. Or sometimes because this person uh, did something special. Yeah, or this person has some special abilities. Yeah, so we especially give this person a special name. Uh, so th- just to distinguish that this person has this special ability, we give this person a special name. Uh, uh, or like, uh, so like let's say uh, you, 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 you don't like a boss, so you call the boss monster. <laughs> yeah, but a boss is not a monster, isn't it? Uh, something like that, okay? Yeah. So, uh, the, the, uh, the mind itself, in fact, when we say that is number seven mana, this is, at this point, it's still not giving it a special name, you know. Because the word mana, or muona, the word muona, yeah, muona, it basically means mana, which is basically mind. Yeah, it is basically mine. Yeah. So, uh, there's this question of, okay, so mine, mine. So that's already the mine. Then number seven also mine. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it is said that the number seven consciousness to distinguish from. Uh, to distinguish its role as number seven, then it's, uh, it's written differently. So, for example, when we talk about sense bases, we always talk about yi gen. Yeah, yi gen. Yeah. But when we talk about this same thing, this is basically mana. Okay? But when we talk about it as the f- uh, in its function as number seven consciousness, then we call it Seven consciousness, mana consciousness. (laughs) 
แล้วไงบุ๊ก so for example for example uh, who am I I'm a monk isn't it yeah I'm a human being to my mother is is what you can yeah uh, but uh, besides being a monk I also function as a s i f u to some people yeah uh, uh, to some other people I'm not a s i f u I'm just another f a s h i yeah. But of course, there are differences, h uh, Yeah, there are actually differences between calling someone s h i f u versus f a s h i Yeah. If it, if that person is your q i n g j i a o s h i yeah, that someone you 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 have taken uh, the refuge under, or let's say precepts under, or uh, someone whom you are learning directly under, then the right thing is to call s h i f u Yeah. Uh, but side note, ah, shi fu, this fu, ah, ah, this fu, not the other one, not this one. Ah, uh, this one is zi jia eh here, ah, shi fu ah, ah, zi jia shi fu xie gao. This just means. This s i f u just means it's also not wrong in a way. It just means that he's a professional. Yeah, he's a professor. Yeah, okay, yeah, professional. But this is that this professional, this teacher is like your father. <sighs> Search yourself. You know it to be true that I'm your father. It's a lot. We are doing recording, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> wow, my if my s i f u ever look at the video, he'd be like, "What is this c h o i n g o n doing?" <laughs> yeah, like, now I know why people come to his class, <laughs> come to chill, chill, jie. Okay, so the mind sense base is basically the number seven. Mana, okay. You can also do it the other way around. Seven consciousness is none other than the mind base, mind sense base. That's it, okay. Ah. Uh, mm. Ah. Uh. Conscious of the mind. Ah. Uh. The the first time you say it, I I agree with that. So yes, yes, yeah. So seven consciousness, very good. The seven consciousness is a function of the mind also. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, well, but it's uh, 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 yeah. Okay. w e we 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 yeah. But it's 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 okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's a good it's a good distinction. One is oh, then I disagree. No, no, don't say wrong, lah. I I I disagree. <laughs> I I I would say that your first your first statement that uh, when we call it consciousness is basically the function of the sense, yeah. So in this case, seven consciousness is another function of the six, yeah. It, another name for it, lah. So to so to speak. We don't worry, ah. Come in, come in. So. 原一切法为境，然后原一切法为境。So the the six consciousness can basically 包括了 ，OK， 大小通吃 ，everything we we have explained that already。而生起了别 ，So this is the first part， 嗯、mm. ，which is the same as the rest。然后 all have this 了别 ，OK， 另外一个了别 ，bear awareness， the ability to be To have bare awareness, uh, just being aware, uh, but not discriminate yet. Like in this case, number six consciousness, the mind consciousness, have this further. So, e s e g n li m i n e s h i Yeah. So up to here, still not, still haven't mentioned about all, all those functioning. Ah. So, e s e g n li m i n e s h i So, based on its its base, then it's called. Uh, 
mind consciousness. Okay, mind consciousness. So if you realize this, then mind consciousness, number seven, also mind consciousness. Well. Uh, yeah, but actually, technically, uh, both are mind consciousness. So how? Yeah, but the number seven, when we say mind consciousness, is actually referring to the mind. Okay, but don't, 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 don't worry. Huh? Okay, so in terms of this mind consciousness, there is four different types. So, Ming Liao Yi Shi, which is the 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 function where it, it is uh, it has clarity, it has uh, uh, awareness, and so on. Yeah. Then, when we are awake, yeah, basically, uh, the the second Ding Zhong Yi Shi in Samadhi. The third one, San Du uh, San Yi Shi. Okay. So there's different distinguish different types. Huh? Then Meng Zhong Yi Shi when we are sleeping. Okay, I'm going to go through the detail now. Ming Liao Yi Shi, Yu Ming Wu Ju Yi Shi. So, uh, the the mind consciousness that is coupled with the first five consciousness. The mind consciousness, I repeat, uh, this is the mind consciousness that is coupled with the first five. The first five, uh, the first five consciousness. Yeah. 基于前五世俱时而起的意识。In other words, when the first five they arise, any of them arise, uh, this mind consciousness is also can also be active. Yeah. Uh, if the if this mind consciousness just go and take a look and then okay, not interesting. Yeah. Then there's no further activity in that area. Yeah. No further activity in that area. Any time when the first five consciousness arise. Uh, the mind will be will get a WhatsApp, dong dong, <laughs> yeah, and then it can arise together. Uh, it can arise together. Yeah. So if when we are asleep, then there's enough trigger, uh, then the mind consciousness get awakened. Uh, but other than that, it can be dormant, uh, it, it's swimming in its own world, huh? Mm. So uh, further, 能住无事生起。uh, it actually don't just arise together. It assists the arising of the five consciousness. So over here, I I look around. There's no swier, mm. swier. So uh, the term swier is found in the uh, Yoga Chara school, and it basically means like this momentary momentary uh, attention. Yeah, that. The mind, the six consciousness, must have a momentary, you know, then decide whether you want to go and uh, give more attention. If it gives more attention, then consciousness arises there. Yeah, if not, then it is as good as bo, smi pung bo. So here, for the first five consciousness to arise in this text, huh? hang on, hang on, hang on, in this text, under this definition, the first five consciousness require the support of the six consciousness. All right, this is the definition given in this text. Uh, not necessarily so in some other of the Yoga Chara school. Okay, not necessarily so. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Is it four under this? Uh, if we close our eyes, then we think of something. Then it's purely the six consciousness. Just the six conscious. Uh, this, yeah, yeah. In this case, in this case will be n number three. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Two san yi shi. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's, so it's just the mind, you know. Uh, it's just the mind. Okay. So, you yeah, so this is basically that because of the 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 role that the mind consciousness play, uh, then the other consciousness can arise. Uh, but there are other school of thoughts that says the the sixth consciousness is quite independent from the first five. Yeah, that the five consciousness can just fire off by themselves uh, without the sixth consciousness involvement. But the six consciousness have the uh, superseding effect. It can come in and check, hey, what is going on? 
uh, who is coming in here. Uh, it, it, it can do that. Okay, so slightly different variation. Okay. Mm. That means, if, if for example, you mention Sifu, then I hear it. I just briefly hear it, but I don't pay attention. Then I continue. Uh, then there's no further activity. Uh, you may continue to ask your question, but eh, <laughs> boa. Uh, then you will not get an answer. Huh? Uh, this, and all the mothers and fathers experience this with your child. <laughs> yeah, especially when you ask them to have dinner. And especially when they're at the age where they are busy with their handphone. Then you, when you talk to them, <laughs> no awareness. Uh. Uh, the question, so, so knowing, knowing about consciousness, what's the big deal? Mm. Uh, for me, uh, it can help us to realize that you don't have to take it so personally. Uh. Uh, that the reason why they don't pay attention to you may not always be that they are trying to be disrespectful to you. It is just that there's something else that captures their mind consciousness. <laughs> so much that they are like in samadhi. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, because, so this one becomes inactive because they are totally absorbed already. Yeah, almost like in samadhi. <laughs> Yeah, in which case, then you must remove the object of concentration first. Which is what I, I've been telling some of the parents. Uh, but it only works if your child is, let's say, below 14 or 15. Yeah, once they cross past 16, you do that, they look at you. <laughs> yeah. Before that, you know, like when they are 9 or 10, you do that, they... <laughs> Uh, they, will, they will cry, they will, uh, that's where you can still, like, and if you don't do that, yeah, if when they are 8 or 9, then you have to, boy, I'm not talking to you, you must put away, you want to reason, hold on, the Bahman reason. No? <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm not suggesting that it's wrong to reason, uh, but there's a time and place to reason. You reason with people who are reasonable. <laughs> This the advice I give to some parents. They don't no, but Sifu Bopian, they 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 are stuck at the computer, they don't want to move. Just turn off la. <laughs> oh if you if yeah, well, I have my mother and father to thank for this. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because they will really do that. They come in, switch off. Uh. <laughs> wow, still, boy, what? Yeah, initially, one thing good about my parents, they give you warning shots. Uh, they'll tell you. Yeah, if you fail to register warning shots, that's your problem. Yeah, they give you a warning, okay? Sikang kaula, huh? Ho kuna, huh? But, uh, you also have to look at how old the child is. When I reached my, my mid-twenties and I started work, uh, then they give me a bit more buffer. Yeah, and, and they don't pull out my plug anymore. <laughs> uh, then my mom is, is very smart. Yeah, he, she, she go the, 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 the you know, uh, she, she will come and then appear very tired. Then, boy, how could I? Labu, she tired now. Oh, uh, uh, don't be so late, huh? Uh, otherwise your your own health, huh? Uh, okay, okay. Or oh, then, uh, so you have to appeal to to their to their mind, uh. <laughs> uh, When they are young, you do this. They don't understand anything about that. <laughs> their emotion is not fully developed. You try to appeal to their emo, yeah, uh, about filial piety. Then the, then the kid give you an answer, then you call the ICI one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But then when they are already in their twenties, and then you still want to, hey, I'm mad, no, you must. Then the, ma, what is this? 
I'm, hey, I'm a manager at work. You know, why, why, what's the problem with you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so have, the, have to use the right approach at the right time. Huh? Mm. So, yo yi 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 shi, okay. So, yo yen dan wu shi, bu nan ming liao fen bie. Uh, so here, ming liao fen bie, so uh, this is the unique part, huh? the fen bie part. So, uh, apparently this term here, they, they extend it to the fen bie portion. Yeah, so remember, I, I in all my classes, I've always highlighted. I think I should use red color. Ming liao fen bie. So the rest are only liao bie. Yeah, uh, but this number six, it can be aware, uh, but it can also discriminate fen bie. Okay. You notice in my this note, there's no, there's very little English word, only inference here. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the reason is because that was a Chinese class, so very very sinang, just Chinese explain Chinese. Okay, this one for now translate some. <laughs> so uh, I have gone through before how the mind can interpret, can discern, can uh, distinguish, discriminate. Yeah, so this is a very special function, yeah, and we attribute it to the mind consciousness. Yeah, so deeply uh, uh, grab whatever is is uh, is its object. Yeah, mm. uh, so uh, here the ability of the the sixth consciousness. Uh, I'm going to uh, now give you the 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 way I was taught. Uh. The the way I was taught, sixth consciousness is solely responsible for the uh, interpretation, discrimination, and so on. Yeah, the first five consciousness only has bare awareness. Yeah, only have bare awareness. Oh, yes, only bare awareness. The first five, sixth consciousness. It can have bad awareness, but on top of that, discriminate. Uh, so, uh, so what if you know this? Well, then, if you were to try to do some meditation, in the yoga trial school especially, in all schools, meditation is required for you to go to level two. Yeah, you die, die, have to meditate. Both yeah, you cannot escape. Yeah. If you don't meditate, it becomes you, you, whatever you learn is just knowledge. Very interesting for you know party conversation. <laughs> yeah, but uh, to really appreciate the subtle nuances and be convinced, the most important thing to be convinced yourself. Yeah, because knowledge anyone can read and acquire Wikipedia, whatever. Yeah, this book for example, you go and burn it, then drink the water. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but to be utterly convinced, uh, you must meditate. Okay. And this is especially emphasized in the Yogacara school. Yeah. Yogacara school is not just meditate, no. In the Mahana Sangraha it says, Pusa Yu Ting. Yeah, it, it must be in deep concentration, not not just just meditate for fifteen minutes, no. It's very deep concentration. Yeah. But for start uh, at least do some meditation. Then you will observe, ah, okay. As we, as, as, even as we sit, or even as we open our eyes, we do interaction. Uh, there's this, this, your awareness becomes clearer and clearer. Then you start to see that ah, in, indeed, indeed, the moment you come into contact, it is just a bare awareness, and subsequently, then layers after layers of discriminations come about. Layers after layers come about. And if you observe further, you may observe that huh, some of these layers would have triggered past memories and then taint the subsequent layers. Yeah? And so then when you, uh, when you observe that yourself, then it's very clear what's going on. Yeah? That what you, we usually perceive as one person is so multi-layered. It's so multi-layered. It's, it's not what we see. 
Yeah, it's a lot of things coming together. For a start, you may not immediately overcome your defilements, but at least you realize that there is defilements. Then it gives you the impetus, the reason to do something about it. Because otherwise, for, for some of us, we may, we may get stuck at the, but I'm right, uh, the person is wrong. Uh. Yeah. You know? Or we, we may get stuck at the, but I, I, I still don't see how that person is this way or that way. Yeah. Uh, so that at some point, you need to add in the uh, cultivation of mindfulness yeah, to, to help you progress. Or to help you progress. Okay? Mm. So the mind up to here. Number B, Ding Zong Yi Shi. Ji Yu Ding Xiang. Yu Ding Xiang Ying the Yi Shi. So uh, the mind consciousness, this is really fine delineation. Yeah? Just because it, it breaks into four different parts and give it different name, doesn't mean that, wow, wow, jiala, split personality. Uh, I have four different mind consciousness. No, uh, yeah. This is just to give it uh, more uh, compartmentalization, if you will. Yeah. So that you know that ah, there's these specific functions. In this case, it is that when the mind consciousness arises with respect to the, the meditation object, yeah, then you give it a different name. But you may still wonder, but why do why you give it so many names? Uh, because this particular mind consciousness has a slightly different feature from the other ones. The first one, uh, it, it, has, it has, uh, interaction with the first five consciousness. It can have interaction with the first five consciousness. Okay? Uh, this one, in Samadhi, the first five consciousness, uh, again, this part, there is at least one or two other school that has slightly different interpretation. But in Yoga Trial School, we say, when we enter Samadhi, then the first five consciousness is not active. Yeah, I also have my own gripe about this, uh, which I'll cover later. But first, let's establish the baseline. Okay, so Ding Zhong Yi Shi, the mind consciousness within Samadhi. When you're in deep concentration, okay, uh, we give it this name. Mind, con uh, mind consciousness within Samadhi. It has, here it doesn't go into uh, too much other details. It just says, Xing Xiang Ming Liao that the, the feature of your meditation object is clear. Yeah, there's, there's clarity of the meditation object. Nen referring to the object of meditation. Yeah? You will be familiar if you attend Chinese meditation class, a term called Suo Yuan Jing. Yeah? Are you all familiar? Heard of this? Suo Yuan the Yeah. Yuan means to to that there are many different meanings. Uh. Here it means to pay attention, to hold it as an object yeah, that you focus on. Yeah. Suo Yuan means that which you are holding on to as an object. Yeah. Yeah. You hold on to that to that as the object of your mind. Suo Yuan the Okay? Yeah. So here when you are meditating, is, is that true all the time? No. Sometimes when we meditate, you are supposed to meditate on the breath. Your mind think about the meeting you had in the afternoon. Yeah, you think about the report you have to do tomorrow. Yeah, you think about the funny jokes you will crack. Then, it, oh. <laughs> then you, 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 your mind is all over the place. Yeah, so here, it's basically about how when you are in concentration, the mind has, a, has some features that is different from in the other areas. And what is the difference? That it is clear about the features of the object. And it, it deeply hold on to this object as, or, or, or the, the, the item, huh? in this case like breath, yeah, as the object. Uh, so the mind is anchored onto it. Okay? Hmm. Uh, at least A, B, and D is is correct. Hmm. Okay, C itself uh, can can cover can cover A. Uh. Uh, 
Uh, but in a way, it can be exclusive also. Because here is basically talking about the, the function of the mind co-arising with the first five consciousness. Yeah, because after the co-arising, then it goes all over the place, think about things, think about that, and then that's under C. Okay? And what is C? Du san yi shi. Arising independently, but in a state of non-concentration. Uh, non-concentration. Yeah, so when you are lost in your thoughts, when you are lost in your thoughts, you, you are unaware of the, the surrounding also. Yeah? So it doesn't connect with the first five consciousness, but it is also, no, also not focused. Du san yi shi. Du means alone. San means uh, non, not concentration. Not concentrated. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so uh, Wilson asked the question, uh, so C is when you are lost in your thoughts, for example. Uh, thinking deeply, but not focused. Okay? Ji putong sensi de sanwan yi Yeah. So day to day, uh, we are always doing this. Uh, Waiting for the bus, waiting for the traffic light, wait, going through meeting, meeting people talking, you are actually just lost in your thoughts. <laughs> uh, very common. Yes. Ah, yes. This is what uh, in those in computing can often appreciate. Uh, our mind, uh, it appears that uh, when we talk about mind consciousness or mind, it is a uh, uh, SNP. It's a single processor. Yeah, it's not multiprocessor. Uh, but it has, uh, in terms of the other consciousness, then those are micro P. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some of the microcontroller. Uh, microcontroller. That it cannot do heavy processing. Okay? Uh, it is in charge of like okay your keyboard input, yeah, or mouse input, yeah, but it cannot it can only receive data and say okay there's one and zero 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 one and zero, uh, but what to do with one zero don't know, yeah don't know what's, what how to interpret it, uh, the, the the main CPU come and process okay this one this series of one and zero oh wait wait is there another one okay uh, this means move your mouse up a bit. <laughs> Uh, when we meditate more, then you see this slicing a bit clearer. Yeah, a lot clearer, actually. Okay, number six. <coughs> Sorry, not six, D. Yeah, this is number six, D. Mong zong yi shi. So when you are sleeping and having a dream, this is also a dream. So C and D has overlap, okay? But give it a special name further because you are in a dream. Yeah, not you're not awake. Yeah. Because uh, So what is mei That means it's it's a bit dull. Yeah. It's a bit dull. It's not so so clear. See, you you are still clear. It's just that you're not clear about the surrounding. D. Uh, when you're having a dream, you can also can seems to see and things. I don't know. But it's is very dull. Yeah? Ability to, to make decisions and so on is very weak. There are those who can do what we call lucid dreaming. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's the minority. But even for those who do lucid dreaming, as I've explained to Wilson before, it is not with absolute full uh, uh, determination also. Because to begin with, you cannot decide when you want to start the dream. Yeah. The dream still just start like that. It's, it just starts like that. When it wants to start, it starts. You cannot say, okay, now I'm not sleeping yet. I go into sleep. And okay, now I'm, now I'm not I'm sleeping but no dream. Then now I decide to have a dream. Yeah. Because in a state where you are sleeping without a dream, you are not conscious. So you cannot decide. Yeah. So the, 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 the dream state is basically just this faint arising of the mind uh, being active a bit. But not fully awake. No? Still mong zong yi shi. Yeah. 不同于醒悟之时, uh, 所以别立一个名字, uh, so given a different name because it's still different. Yeah. Although also not concentrated, but still different. So give it a special name. Yeah. So here further establish 
后三种都称为独头意识。The last three are all known as 独头意识。Single hit. <laughs> What does it mean? Yeah. So it arises without participation from the first five. Yeah. Or not in couple with the first five consciousness. Okay. Yeah. 都不与前五识聚起， yeah, doesn't arise you know, together. 唯一是意识单独的活动。Yeah, so this last three refers to the singular activity of the mind consciousness. When the mind is active by itself, then it will fall under one of these three. Yeah. When you are in samadhi, B. Then when you are actually just thinking deeply yourself, yeah. Uh, then it's C. Then when you are sleeping, uh, but also thinking. Uh, so in, in Buddhism, it's very simple. When you are having a dream, it's basically the mind active when you are sleeping. Uh, that's it. Uh, however, in the sutra, the Buddha have mentioned about how there are some dreams where Parabha Ananda had, and then he actually told him what it implies. Yeah. Uh, so in most cases, when we have dreams. It is just the mind uh, having having a party. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me finish up this part and just comments on number seven. Okay. Just comments. Otherwise, our our Darth Vader and look and and the kid Skywalker got problem. Okay. So, do san wei du tou ji du tou san yi shi de 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 de. Hmm. So. San Wei Du Tou. So this this last three, Ji, uh, Du San Yi Shi and Meng, uh, Meng Zhong Yi Shi, uh, Tong Bi Liang and Fei Liang. So Bi Liang, what is Bi Liang? Inference. Okay, the ability to infer. And Fei Liang, Fei Liang refers to how. Also, there's three Liang, ma. Okay, three Liang. Okay, so Bi Liang, inference. Xian Liang. That means you. Directly, uh, you can see directly. Yeah. Then Fei Liang is Fei Bi Liang Fei Xian Liang. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Fei Liang is ah、uh, Bi Liang is to basically infer, yeah, inference. Then Xian Liang is to see directly. Yeah. Then Fei Liang, Fei Liang is not not inference and not direct seeing. Okay. <coughs> So, in San Wei Du Tou, because of the of the、uh, unconcentrated、uh, singular activity, 皆有分别 Because of that, then there is discrimination. So, 以绝非限量 Because there's discrimination, then it's not direct seeing. The moment that, in Yogacara, the moment you have any form of discrimination. It is considered that you are not seeing directly. You are not seeing directly.、Uh, if you look at the development of Buddhism in China,、uh, this some of this teaching subtly spread its influence into how we practice in other schools. Like in the Zen tradition, there is the nian tou, the the nian tou before the nian tou. What 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 is going on? Yeah, is somewhat linked to this. Because the moment you have a thought, then it's discrimination. Yeah. So before discrimination. Yeah. Before discrimination. Yeah. But I want you to ask yourself this question: Is is it true that all discrimination is wrong? And that being the case,、uh, the Buddhas, enlightened Buddhisattvas, and Arahants, they are said to have this fundamental,、uh, non-discriminatory wisdom. Does it mean that the Buddhas all just fool around without discrimination? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I want you to think about it.、Uh, the 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 hint is that that's not true, ah.、Huh? <laughs> uh, but question is, how is it not true? Okay, I want you to go and go back and think about it. Okay. So, uh, 无惧意识 so referring to the The first one, 
据多份说，为是限量。Yeah, so as far as this front part is concerned, yeah, it's linked more to just the bare awareness portion. Yeah, still more the, the bare awareness portion, but okay. Uh, so as a result, it is mostly just direct seeing. Yeah, okay. Then the 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 the. the yeah, so rightly speaking, this tree, this uh, this first one, where the mind consciousness arises in 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 tandem with the first five consciousness, actually have inference, have di a bit of the seeing directly, yeah, and it also has the one that is neither neither this one or that, okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so why? Because number what this one, okay, this this is still it still has what? Wrong discrimination. It still has attachment and so on. Yeah? Uh, why is that the case? Uh, our good friend here. Mana consciousness. Mana one quite tidy. <laughs> so you memorize this Gautim Sai. What is Ran Ui? Tainted mind. Tainted mind. Yi Ji Si Liang. Yeah. Heng Yu Yeah, so why? Because this mind con this mana consciousness has always been okay, has always been uh, together with uh, the the delusion the delusion of a self, the delusion the wrong view of an I, the ego of I. Yeah, the craving of I. Mm. Uh, this four uh this four uncertainty or this four wrong seeing if you will. Yeah. Huh? yeah. because the mind has always been resonating with this four. Yeah. Heng Shen Si Liang Ti Ba Shi the Jian Fen then it becomes very chim already. Wei Zi Nei Wo Xiang. So this part, let me explain first. Don't try to ask questions. So <coughs> here we talk about, finally we touch about oh, something crucial, about attachment to the self. But here it says the seven consciousness, mana consciousness, which if you recall, is actually referring to the mind. Yeah, it's basically mana. Okay? Mona. Uh, then, what does it do? It has this four, uh, four uh, bewilderment, okay, uh, or wrong thinking, and and so on. But what else? It holds the eighth consciousness, yeah, forms attachment to it. And what does it do? Hmm. Shen, Heng Shen Si Liang, Di Ba Shi Da Jian Fen. So in Buddhism, there's these two terms. Jian <coughs> Fen and Xiang Fen. Jian and Xiang. So Jian Fen here is not about view, uh. Yeah, it is. It is a. It is a terminology that you just keep on seeing inside Yogacara school. Yeah, Xiang Fen refers to the feature, yeah, or or the function, and then Jian Fen refers to its essence, yeah, the body. Yeah, essence of body. Yeah, so. Number number seven consciousness is attached to the essence of it consciousness, yeah, as what, uh, as me, yeah, as me. This is me. Yeah, this is who I am. Yeah, but here, so uh, because of this, then we say that it is known as Ran Ui. It is the tainted mind. Yeah, in other words, to attach in this way is actually wrong. So far, so good. Uh, if you all can understand or, or can 
uh, understand this first, uh, then I throw in the spana. To, to sp wait, wait, hang on. Just know this part first. Yeah. Don't question it first, okay? I really tell you not to question, but this is where I need to ask you, don't question it first. At least know Yogacara school have, have this statement. Can? If anyone asks you, what is the relationship between seventh and the eighth kind of consciousness? The, the moda answer, you must at least know the moda answer. Leave the, the dissertation, defend thesis, whatever, later. At least you must correctly say, in the Yogacara school, the seventh consciousness latches on to the eighth consciousness, the, the essence of it, as self. Okay? This one is uh, defi by definition. We don't have to agree with it, but this is it. Okay? Uh, but. Oh. Yeah. So, <coughs> very deeply. Uh, very deeply. Okay? Very deeply. Very deeply uh, consider uh, and then um, consider. Yeah? Very deeply consider. And, and attached yeah, to this eighth consciousness as uh, is as it uh, itself, okay, as itself. Mm. And if if you can at least remember this part, okay, for a start, okay, because if you can accept this part, then I can go on to question this part. Yeah. Last time I used to do this mistake. I just jumped straight into qu to telling you about the question about it. But you don't even know what is it about. <laughs> uh, so everybody got it? Seven and eight consciousness relationship. We haven't touched eight consciousness yet. Okay? But here we have established that number seven, which is basically the mind, is tainted. Okay? It's tainted. Yeah. Why, is it th why do we say that it's tainted? Because it has this wrong view. Wrong view of a self. Yeah? But here in Yogacara school, it says that the mind attaches to the eight consciousness as self. Yeah, th that's all we need to know and to say. This is the standard model answer. And if we are okay, then I throw in the challenge. Because before you attend this class, do you know the, about the eight consciousness? So then wh how, how is your mind attached to it without knowing that it exists? Ah... See why it's important for me to make sure that you, you know that this is a statement first. Otherwise, if I throw in both together, you uh, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I, I pose this question because in the other commentary that I often mention, Mahana Sangraha, it says that the eighth consciousness is subtle. Yeah? It's so subtle that ordinary folks, unenlightened beings, cannot know its existence. So I pose the question, if you cannot know its, its uh, existence, then how are you attached to it as, as self? Yeah, as self. How, how to be attached to it? Yeah. Uh, so there's more to it. Huh? Okay, there's more to it. Mm. Uh, the eighth consciousness we'll cover in due time. But just to give you a brief, the eighth consciousness is responsible for many things. For bring about everything. Yeah. Uh, it is also, it in some, in s to some people, when you hear the description, it is almost like the essence of who we are, because it is responsible for our karma, yeah, and it is what drives our existence. Yeah, it is what drives our existence. It brings about the ripening of karma, yeah, or of the seeds, yeah, of karma, yeah, and it is what allows us to plant new seeds, mm. yeah. Uh, and it is also what, pers what some people describe as persisting from one life to the other. For most intents and purposes, it, it, in a way, serves that function. Yeah? Uh, but because of that, then we say, oh, this is my soul, this is my Atman, this is my self. Yeah? Uh, this is how it is persisted. Mm. Yeah? But in the same way, in the same way um, if, you, if you ask any kid, do you have a soul? If they have not learned the word soul, they will be like, soul, soul to me. <laughs> you know, they will say, it, my, my leg, this soul, huh? <laughs> you know? Yeah, so to me, some of these are human abstraction that we learn and acquire. Yeah. So attachment, there's many layers. Okay? Uh, in, 
unfortunately, even those that is uh, human abstraction can affect us, unfortunately, sometimes even more than uh, what we, we quite intuitively are attached to. Like, you know, don't need to teach a, a child about pain, physical pain, yeah, for them to, to know that there's physical pain. Yeah? Uh, they, 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 when initially, they go around, then they go and take something and eat. Yeah? If it's poisonous, they, they, I mean, they, they cannot. Yeah? If it's fire and they touch, they hurt their hand, they, they immediately, oh. Yeah? If you slap them every day, they, oh, they, are, they don't want to see you. Yeah? You don't have to so-called teach them. Yeah? But there are many other things that affect us. Those are mental abstraction. Okay? And here, there's a, an element of that also. Yeah? That through countless of lives, we have been conditioned in this way. Being attached to that, there's some essence in us. Yeah. You want to attribute that essence to eight consciousness, fine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the conditioning that we have been going through life after life. Some very strongly, some not so strongly. Yeah. Some of us may not be so conditioned to the attachment to some essence within us that we call self. But we are, we are still attached to something and consider that as self we may consider our title at work as self. We may consider uh, ma- our position uh, in the family as self. Our role as mother as self. And because of that, we get upset over this role. Yeah. When, you, when you don't get to play the role you want, yeah? when your child don't, don't cause, uh, respond to your motherly role ah, or fatherly role, and how do you feel? Okay, sim liang liang. No, we get upset. Yeah, we get affected. No? When we come back next week, we will go further. There's class next week, huh? Mm. Okay. Apologize for the uh, late start, so we st- end a bit later today. Hezang Fei Xiang. Yuan Xiao San Zhang Zhu Fan Nao. Yuan Da Zhi Hui Zhen Ming Liao. 不愿罪障悉消除世事常信菩萨道起立三文讯。Till we meet again, may be guided and protected by the Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. Sadhus. And as always, quiet, quiet.